Hey guys, how's it going? It's Invicta TV here, and uh, I'm doing a video today on Countdown. Um, I this is an older video. I'm still using the Nightshade. I do actually prefer Nurgle for Countdown because it's a much more about winning uh, one gunfight so, and like not re-engaging for more. Um, or if you are re-engaging for more, it's because you're behind them and you don't really need the kill clip active then. Um, simply because. Uh, you play your life so much here, you, you don't want to take unnecessary risks by trying to use that kill clip too much. Anyway, so obviously I ran through rugs, saw that they were all pushing market, my, with my teammates calling that out. Unfortunately, I didn't see that guy. That was so very unfortunate. Um, that was actually stupid of me right there, like, to have not seen him sooner. Uh, I, I was looking too hard at that barricade with my gun up, and when your gun is up, you cannot see the radar. Um, but anyway, yes, I pushed immediately to rugs. That is typically how I play this map. Uh, I also am on one of the faster... Uh, classes, faster movement classes, uh, the Titan here. Um, so I can get in pretty aggressively onto rugs there and see if, if they're not there on radar. I just push through and get behind them and easily flank them uh, and help out my team that way. So here we go. We, we pushed over to rugs, saw that they had no setup here. So we were going to go for a, an easy plant just to start the, the timer, not let them have time to come over to us from market. Um, and, and set up with us having not started that timer for them. Once we get that plant down, they now have 40 seconds to make that rotate, which should eat about 5 to 10 seconds, and then um, and then have to push into the point and kill us all. Like uh, Basically, planning right away uh, guarantees us an extra 5 to 10 seconds for free. And then, of course, with that additional strategy in mind, it makes it so that for the rest of the time, they're they're playing a little bit scattered, they're playing or a little bit frantic because they're, they're, that clock is eating at them the whole time. Anyway, I'm gonna push them here a little bit and put some damage on somebody, and then immediately throw a nade in there. Unfortunately, he threw a nade back. Didn't only get me; he got another teammate there. Um, very unfortunate situation uh, that he also happened to throw that nade back on us, and then it did hit me in the corner. I wasn't directly in front of it, but I was weak enough that. Um, I did get hit by it. I want to point out that that strategy right there that I just used, uh, it's when you see them on radar and you see them pushing that hall at all, at all, um, throw the nade on the wall, slide around the corner, and put on a shot or two. Like, because they have to take time to run away from that nade. So they put your backs to you and give you free time. And if not, then he doesn't see that guy because he was sniping down. Um, and if they don't see you or if they don't react to that nade, then they're going to be hurt for sure, and you get free to image. Uh, or you're, you're going to win the gunfight, of course. Um, and then on top of that, if they do uh, happen to um, stay back from that nade as you slide around the corner, with the times to kill in this game, you've got pretty good chance that you can just back up back around the corner, which they won't be able to follow, your nade's still on the wall, and uh, escape if you have to. Uh, I haven't really been outplayed or heavily punished in that situation and even if I do it's one round uh, versus the many rounds that I have won doing that exact play so here we go we're gonna look mid I'm not gonna stay there obviously not gonna start trying to shoot in a 1v2 situation not in this game no sir uh, so I do immediately pull out I've already got my health back and we're gonna look down over here try to get some assist shots on somebody I did put them a little weak but there's no point in continuing to challenge unnecessarily not until my teammates are ready my teammates are in fact now ready I assist them um, on the damage that they had on the one guy and then here we go I'm going to stay alive look that is a situation where it's not my time to get the kill I'm going to hide. I dealt my damage. That's all I had to do. It's it's, it's time for my teammates to finish up. Uh, that is so very important in this game, and it's something so many people don't understand. I mean, that's how you play Destiny 1 as well, but it's so much more exaggerated and so much more useful to do it like that in Destiny 2 because the time to kills are so much longer, and you easily have the time to pull back behind uh, cover in nearly every engagement that you ever go into. So my teammate had that first guy weak, um, so I, I was able to assist that. This guy's also still weak, still pushing up. I still have mostly full health. Saw this guy in the barricade. Going to put the damage in. I did pick up every kill there, so I'm go you're going to watch me clip this. Uh, there we go. A four-piece, uh, a, four a quad kill uh, on a team in Destiny 2. That's it's hard to do, even if, uh, of course, the teams or the, the shots were assisted or the kills were assisted. It doesn't matter. It's still uh, nice getting four kills in a row like that. Um, so, 
Yes, as I was saying though, it's it's not always your time to get the kill. Rely on your teammates. Just do what you can and have them finish it up. Make a call out, etc. Um, it's not it's not lone wolf. It's not run and gun. Like you can't just challenge every fight. You have to play your life, especially in countdown, but also in in control or or clash, any game mode really. Unfortunately, I was not able to wrap up that kill. Unfortunately, also my nade angles downwards. I think I actually would have been able to score those kills, both of them, uh, with that nade if it didn't angle downwards, uh, which did end up giving that guy enough time to grab the power ammo as I pushed up um, and un got got melted by it uh, with that fusion rifle. Oh well. Um, Sorrento here though does have sniper uh, from market. He he baited out that last guy who once more had a fusion rifle. The last guy should have not pushed. He should have played for. Um, revive on, for his team. He obviously had a revive token, I imagine, and unfortunately he did not do that, and made a challenge uh, that he thought was probably, that Sorrento probably didn't back up that far away from. He probably didn't realize how far away Sorrento had gotten, and he tried to fuse him from way too far away, uh, and of course, Sorrento, with the sniper, just gets a clean headshot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys uh, ha got some tips, a little bit of strategy, and uh, can put this into your own gameplay um, when Destiny 2 beta rolls back around and when the full game comes out. A lot of people tell me, you know, I don't understand, you know, this is just a beta. Like, there's so many weapons that we have yet to play with, you know, the, the thing, the game's going to be totally different. And I don't think that's true. I think people need to get out of their head that just because we don't have access to the full arsenal, that the guns are going to be so outlandishly different from what we have now, um, that the game is going to play uh, entirely differently. I think this beta tells us a lot still. I think um, just seeing the times to kill, just playing with some of these archetypes, I think we have a good glimpse of you know how this game will play out and how this game will feel and definitely the general strategies to this game um, regardless of the weapon was we're using uh, so keep that in mind guys you know take everything with a grain of salt but don't don't think that uh, like if you weren't good at the beta that you won't be good in the real game and if that you um, are hoping or using the excuse oh well it's just the beta you know it's just because i have crappy weapons that's why i'm doing so bad that you're going to magically become better when the full game comes out take this time to you know go back over your games watch some games learn some stuff if you're going to be able to play the pc beta you know practice on the pc beta and uh when the full game releases don't expect it to be necessarily very different from how the beta felt um, it depends on the changes that are happened between beta and release, and um, obviously, you know, maybe we won't be news using Nightshade and Nurgle, maybe there'll be a, a couple new pulse rifles to test out and stuff, but don't think that uh, it's going to necessarily be 100% different. Without further ado, though, guys, this has been Invicta TV, and I'm out. Bye! Hey guys, I wanted to take the time to say that I finally got my subscribe button over on twitch.tv slash Invicta underscore TV. If you're interested, you can subscribe for $5 a month or for free with Twitch Prime. This gives you a one-way ticket to hop into games with me, be it Destiny or otherwise, as well as gets you into sub-only raffles or extra chances on all raffles for events like Trials. Thank you to everybody who takes the extra miles, and I appreciate every single one of you. I hope to see you in stream, Guardians.